we'll continue to talk about the Iron Bowl. Ryan Brown, Jim Dunaway, the host of the next round in Birmingham, will join the guys in about 20 minutes. But there is another game, the game, Ohio State, Michigan. I, I can't wait for this game, right? There's no look ahead for this game. This is the year that Michigan is actually going to potentially make it a compelling game this time around. Every I feel like the last few years for this matchup, we're like, oh, we, we know it's going to happen going in. Not well, buying it. No? I'm not, no, I'm not okay. buying it. The, the, the last two weeks, Ohio State has won 115 to 38. That's the final score. Everything Michigan does well, Ohio State does better. That's just, the, that's just where they are in 2021. I'm really intrigued by the gentleman wearing a Wake Forest jersey. There you go. Over here right now. Uh, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Uh, you don't see that. The you don't see that very like, often. You really don't. Like, I'm thrown no. off because we're in Auburn, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> and this gentleman is celebrating Dave Clawson's contract extension. Congratulations, there you go. sir. There you go. Dave Clawson, good job for you and your Deeks. Um, I, I'm, I'm with Hutton. I, I am not buying Michigan's ability. It, it kind of goes back to Auburn in this game you got to score with Ohio State yep. at some point. I just don't see Michigan having the weapons to score with C.J. Stroud and Ohio State in this game. That's going to be the big problem. So does this relay back to a theme that we've seen in college football all year? The top ten, the top five, really isn't that meaningful because we've, we've seen so much shakeup, so many top ten, top five losses, that by the time we get here – and, and Ohio State is just going to be that much better than Michigan, and, and that everything will kind of sort itself out, you know, as, as we head into the final weekend. Uh, a buddy of mine once had this phrase. I don't even know what it really means, but he said, I'm going to boil it down to the low gravy. This, I, I, it's got to have something to do with Thanksgiving, I feel like. I'm trying to tie it in. <laughs> Let me boil it down to the low gravy. There are two teams that can beat Georgia. It's Alabama and Ohio State. Nothing else matters. I love Cincinnati. I love that story. There are three teams in this country that can compete at that level. It is Georgia, Alabama, and Ohio State. And whatever, Georgia's first, obviously, but there are only two teams, Hutton, I think that can legitimately, with a great game, beat Georgia. Outside of that, nothing else matters at this point. The, the, only, the only caveat to that is we have seen Ohio State lose already. Go Ducks. Um, but, but with, with with Michigan and and, and I, I keep going back to the Michigan State matchup. Yeah, we were in Jacksonville, right? I think that was the weekend uh, for Georgia and Florida. And watching that game, Chad, I looked at you and I said, if they can't put Michigan State away, they're not putting Ohio State away later in the season. And all they had to do was run the clock. They had a lead, and Kenneth Walker took over. They could not close the game out when it mattered. And that that's why I'm so hesitant to even mention the Wolverines today because I don't think they can keep up on the scoreboard with Ohio State. With that in mind, I think Ohio State, I think you're right, I think Ohio State and Alabama can press the issue with Georgia's secondary, but I don't, I don't even think they're in the same atmosphere with Georgia as I described the, the three teams that we're laying out here. I think there's Georgia and there's everyone else. And this is the, this is just the, this is the truth about where we're headed with the 12-team playoff. Yep. It's going to be extremely um, competitive, and we're still going to end up with some blowouts at the end because there's going to be two teams that are better than everyone else. So knowing what we know about this Ohio State-Michigan matchup, the fans in Michigan care about this game more than everything else. Yeah. Jim Harbaugh hasn't been able to get it done yet. You guys are not believing in him today. Not we'll, today. We'll, we'll see what happens on the field. But if this is the best team, right, and he restructured the contract, everything happened, Michigan was going this year, this seems like it's the year that everything was lining up. You guys still aren't buying it. So what does that mean for well, Michigan? this to me is the proving ground. If Harbaugh can even just go down to the last possession yeah. against Ohio State, prove that he can do it, right? I, I am in disbelief at this point that he can beat Ohio State. And I never thought I would say that in this series, that one team just simply is incapable of beating the other. But this is a huge prove-it game for Jim Harbaugh. Look, he bet on himself. Michigan bet on him. They, they took money away from him. He decided to come back. Less money in the contract. They've been great this year. But Hutton, if they don't play Ohio State close this year, to Jill's point, I, I don't know when it's going to happen for Michigan. 
Well, they need a passing game to be able to do that. They don't have that. And and let, let's let's bring it full circle here with the, the week that we've had with all the extensions across right. college football. This week, in previewing all these games, when have we said, you know what? It's time for Harbaugh to coach and win a game with his game plan on Tuesday. When has that ever happened in college football? These guys get paid and paid and paid, but yet... It's the same storyline week in and week out with these teams. It's time for these guys to go out and earn it. Next week, Saban's going to have to have one of the best coaching performance. They need a Saban coaching performance from Alabama next week. It's not on Bryce Young. It's on Nick Saban to beat Georgia with the game plan next week. That's my point here is it comes down to Harbaugh. It's not about what Michigan has. Can he devise a game plan that comes up with a way to slow down Ohio State's offense? I'm not buying it. I don't think he can. I think he's overpaid and overqualified. And also, we're talking about an Ohio State team that, yes, they lost. We saw them lose in week two. That was a long time. But Oregon stayed toe-to-toe with them, and they matched them throughout that game. And then they separated the score. That was week two. Hutton, we left our studio in downtown Nashville last week. That game kicked off at 11 a.m. By the time (laughs) I got home, I lived 15 minutes from downtown. It was 28-0. I know. It was over. It was 28-0. And we were talking about, we had the audacity to talk about Kenneth Walker the Third's Heisman campaign <laughs> in that game. And Ohio State shut the damn faucet off in that game like that. This is a different team right now. It is not week two. I just, again, I don't see it. I understand Michigan's been beating up on Maryland and Rutgers in recent weeks. Well, and Bryce this Young is a continues different to get animal. better and better and better. Yeah, it's a different animal. 